adventurers welcome back to adventures by kayla and this is tinkerbell you may remember her from train with tink series today what i'm going to do is show you how to hook up your pony to a cart so now i am not a professional um, when it comes to carriage driving um, i'm still learning myself <laughs> so is little tinkerbell as well um, so if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll answer them as good as i can or please contact your local trainer as well uh, but hope this helps you out to give you an idea of what to do now she's about 12 and a half to 13 hand high pony, so she kind of wears like a cob size. Uh, so the cart I have for her is about a 60 inch shaft. Um, so it honestly could probably be a little bit longer for her, but since she's not a for sure size, um, it does make it a little bit more challenging. So in general, just look it up online, what size of cart you need for your pony. Um, I already actually bought a wrong size for her, had to sell that cart, and then go get another one because it was way too small. Now, when you hook it up, if whenever you stop, you lean back and it tilts back, <laughs> it's kind of like your red flag that it is, that it is too small uh, for your pony. So of course the pony has no trouble carrying it, uh, but it doesn't really fit her properly. So the goal, and I'm gonna show you when it looks, the goal is for the shaft to be pretty straight with their shoulder and line up with their shoulder. Like I said, this one should hopefully be a little bit longer. Um, so maybe depending on how much she grows in the next couple years, I may have to sell this one and get an even bigger one. Um, but hopefully this one will work out, at least for what we do. Um, we ride very short distances and stuff like that, and we just kind of play around with it for fun. Um, the main reason why I've trained her to do cart is so that once my kids outgrow her riding, that she can have a nice and enjoyable life still with us here um, and get to ride around on the cart. And I think she's gonna ride in a parade this year. Have the cart right here ready to go. Um, now, of course, you want to train your horse to do that. Do not just hook it up to it and make all the, it just like ready to go. I've done lots of prerequisite work with her and she now is also already trained to pull a cart. Um, so it is very important that you're very careful pull sticks, pull tires, pull everything else you can before you hook them up to the cart for your safety, their safety, and honestly the safety of your cart. Um, so just something to keep in mind um, whenever you're getting ready to do this. And I did a lot of actually holding the cart over her and still like her going um, without actually being attached to the cart. And that really did seem to help as well. Then actually once you get them used to pulling the cart, get them really used to that before you put your weight in there as well because your weight in there is totally a different feeling um, and that includes going uphill and downhill so there's just a lot of training that goes along with it um, just prerequisite that um. She likes to eat grass, so we struggle with that a little bit. Um, but those are just little struggles to have. Like right now, she's wanting to eat grass, and we're not doing that. But right now, she's totally hooked up. She cannot get away from the cart, so that works out okay. Hey. Oh. Oh. But just like any cart horse, sometimes she'll get a little antsy wanting to go. And that's okay. It's just something for her to get used to. Okay? So I hope this helps. Uh, so again, our goal is to have this equal with the shoulder. So it's a little bit low right now from where it needs to be. Um, it needs to be a little bit farther forward. Like I said, it doesn't fit her 100% perfectly right. 
Um, but again, I'm probably gonna have to rebuy another one as well when she grows up just a little bit more. Um, but for really short rides, it shouldn't make a huge difference. Um, but we have lots of clearance. I don't know if you can see back here, but we have lots of clearance back here, so we're totally fine um, with that. So uh, she she does such a good job with that. So again, make sure you practice with this a lot. And I hope this helps. Um, so yeah, and you and I know I'm leaning over. Um, I'm not putting any pressure on her back at all. She is short enough for that. Um, of course, when she's really, really, really good and broke, um, you would be able to easily walk around her. And she is broke, but I just, you know, I'm always trying to make sure I'm as safe as possible, um, especially when you're working around and uh, one to make sure that she is successful in what she's doing. Um, so I'm wanting her to set her up for success. If you want to be really, really good, you would have a helper, um, someone maybe to help stand her head, keep her entertained, and hook up one side, whereas you hook up the other side. Um, but it is very important when you start to hook up that you move kind of quickly. So thank you so much for watching. God bless. Be adventurous. And thank you. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Be adventurous. And we'll see you next time. Bye.